guys, what are we learning today? Response technique in the air there, in the key of C. We're learning the cutoff method, guys. So what key are we in again? We're in the key of C. Know your C scale, guys. What's your chord progression? C, F, G, F. So it's the one, four, five, four. Simple, guys. Regular and day in the key of C. Or the one, five, however you want to call it. So what are we learning? Response technique cutoff method. So uh, as you guys can see in the chord progression, you keep going back to this F. This F major. That's your four. So that's your passing chord. So uh, what am I doing, guys? Let's get right into the solo. So what is that? What is that in reality, in, uh, in logic? How do we uh, interpret that? Uh, so this is just a regular C inverted chord. It's not a regular C chord. It's just inverted. The G is down here. So I did this. You remember what I told you about walking? You can walk up and down your first and third note in your key of C. Oh, so all that is a part of C. And I immediately go to the F. And then I move down an octave. We're responding with the lower octave, or the mid octave here. Or better yet, with the solo. What was that? That was, we're on F now, so I'm sliding from the A to the F. And then I'm landing on this. Why do I land on a B? Because that's a part of my G. We're on G now. So, so I cut off right here. When I land on a B, on a G note right here, I cut it off and do the G up here on the other octave. And then I'm going to land on the, the note that's in the F, which is C. And then I cut it off while I'm on the F and finish the F here and land on the C. So it's just cutting off while you're in the middle of one chord, finishing off uh, with the response technique. You're finishing off that one chord down here, finishing it off up here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna slow it down and show it to you guys again. So C, F, F, G, F, F, G, or C. So you guys see what I'm talking about? We cut off in the middle of the F, like I cut that off, go down here. And then I land on the G note, which is B. Then I cut that off, go up here. And I cut that off. So you're cutting off in the middle of your chord and completing it in the other octave. So guys, if you guys can slow that down, practice to the beat, you guys can understand what I'm talking about with this response technique here. So you don't have to do a whole solo up here, like you do. You see how we're on F right now? We don't have to keep going up here. We can go down and finish that F right here. And then we can land on the G down here. And then we can continue the G up here. So you guys understand what I'm saying? So the response technique, you can cut off in the middle of a chord and play it down here. Guys, uh, and guys, learn how to do the inverted versions of these chords. Uh, you don't have to do a regular F. Uh, let me show you guys real quick. You don't have to do a regular FAC. You can do this version. So I'm about to show you guys uh, inversions of this same technique where you're cutting off. You're responding up here, responding down here. You're cutting off, responding up here. I'm really gonna show you guys this. And guys, if this is too advanced, make sure you get my beginner's course on inversions and response technique, all that stuff is in my Kobai beginner's course at kobaikeyboardschool.com. So we're gonna practice more and more versions of this technique here of the cutoff response technique. I'm gonna go ahead and play the beat so you guys can see what I'm doing. I slow it down to finish. I slow it down to oh, 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 oh. regular G F. So now let, let's let's invert this chord. You see how this inverted? Let's try this inversion of C. So watch this, guys. You see how that sounds good already?
You guys see certain technique, but using different inversions of the chord. Watch this. You guys understand what I'm doing? I'm doing this. C, regular C notes. Instead of this C, I inverted it to this. And then I cut off here. I, I got to the F and I cut it off and do something like this. Which is, this is part of my F here. Now I'm at the G and I can finish the G up here. And I can do the same thing here so I'm going to the F. And land on this. So you guys have to understand that guys, you don't have to finish the chord in one octave. You can cut off in the middle of the chord, continue it in another octave, your compa playing will go to a whole nother level, guys. Understand this technique, keep practicing it. Uh, guys, I have the download of this backing track at compakeyboardschool.com. Guys, understand the cutoff response technique, guys. This is Roland Blase, signing out. Hey guys, this is Roland Blase. Um, one thing I want to tell you that uh, compa, you will learn compa, you will know how to play. And we've just released the official beginner's compa chord. In the Copa course, you will learn the key, how to find the key, what is the key, scales, chords, Copa chords, Copa chord progressions, the number system. You will learn minor chord progressions, Copa rhythm. In this Copa course, how to chake, simple solo tips. You will know how to start your journey off playing Copa for $19.99. This Copa course has just been released. Go to copakeyboardschool.com. It will be the first link on the top of the page. And you will begin to know how to play Copa in no time. Most of the key elements to Copa keyboard playing is in this course. So guys, do not wait. Do not hesitate. Get your Copa course now and start playing Copa right where you're at. Something that's good for me